Hi guys, this is Sauro. In this video, we will learn how to create an app that can send messages and you can read the messages. Okay, so here we see the example first. So you can see that's our app here, right? So you can see here contact number. So we have to put the contact number here. Let's suppose I'm that's my number and I have to put my message here. So hi, this message from Sauro, right? and then click on the send button for sending the message right so that one is number and that one is message now but wait now this one option is select contact so that one is contact picker list right so whenever you click on this so you will redirect to your contact list so and right now i don't have any number right in this uh, emulator so if you are using this app in your mobile phone so this will redirect you to your contact list okay and you can select any number and this will set as a number right now click on the send button right and you can see message sent right now suppose I'm receiving one message from someone so how can I read it so just click on three dots and I'm using emulator to send the message here and I'm sending the message from this number and I'm sending this message hello right and click on send button and you can see we receive one message and that's the number and that's the message right so whenever someone send you the message this will automatically fetch your num fetch that one number and message also right so we need to click on start new project we are using your mit app inventor app to create this app texting that's my app name so you can see that's the screen here right we need to use your component that one is texting and you will find this component in social option here you can see texting just drag and drop this here like this now we need here one thing that one is first one is text box okay and second one is contact picker in the social option right just drag and drop this here now you can change the text here select contact and here is text box so you can make it multi-line and make this high as percentage around 20 fine and you can make it with this fill parent like this and you can make this button fill parent with this fill parent we we can change the color of this button right so i'm going to change this color to orange select contact right now we need here one button to send message just drag and drop this button here now you can change this button text uh, right here and i'm using your send like this and make it font bold and make it font size at least 20 like this you can change this background color also i'm to make it something uh, pink like this fine now that one is for sending the messages okay now we need here let's code for the sending message okay go to the block and whenever someone click on this button one it means send message then we have to send message so we have to use here one thing that one is click on texting and you can see set text texting one dot message so that one message is text box one this one text box one dot text and just drag and drop this here like this and just click on this texting again and you'll find your set texting phone number this one just drag and drop this here and phone number is contact picker one dot contact you will find your contact picker one dot text like this one just drag and drop this here now we have to call send message so there's two methods you can send message directly and that one is for for sending message this will redirect you to your own messenger app okay message app right so i'm using your direct right just click on text and make it send direct now whenever someone click on this button so your message will send to this contact picker number right this one a uh, number now we have to read messages right so how we can read the messages so i'm going to reading the message in list view i'm going to display that one messages in list view now whenever someone sent the message to us okay then we will fetch that one message and number both in our list so just go to the block section again and click on texting option you can see when when texting one dot message received then what we will do 
which once again we have to create one variable here just initialize global variable and this one is message and create empty list click on list and you will find your create empty list like that now when someone send a message and we received one message here then click on this list option and here you can see add list item to list drag and drop this and which in which list we have to add our item this one it is like global get global message this one and which item we have to add this number and that one message click on text because we have to join our text here and click on setting and make it third string also right and we are getting here number and in the last we are getting the text message in the middle we have to use here and to separate both number and message using backwards less and n like this okay now we have to set all these messages and number in a list click on list view and you will find your set list view one dot element this one and where is the element in this list now just fetch this get message from here like this now this will display the all messages and number in your list view whenever someone receives the message you uh, they will see their message and number here now let's uh, uh, i'm running the emulator to run this app let's see how it's work so you can see that's my app here right now okay you can see click on select contact and here you can see there is no contact so let me just define the contact number okay so what i'm going to do here so in the block section i'm going to make this phone number to something like here make it and just type here number right so whenever you do this thing in your phone so you will find your contact list and this will redirect uh, your number set your phone number as your selected number right so let's uh, refresh this right and here you can see we already have done it and just type here your message right hello and then click on the send button right so you can see message send option here like see now now if you want to receive the message okay we have done the code for receiving message so click on this three dot and let's uh, type here some hello this is sorrow okay and let's click on send message and here you can see we will receive the uh, message here from that one number and that one is message let's i'm going changing your number okay and this will work on your phone whenever you receive the message from anywhere from anywhere from anyone right so you will receive that one number let me just type one number and let me just change this text hi okay so just click on send message and you can see that's the number and that's the message right we are receiving here so now let me just do one thing uh, now you can change your one text box right i'm going to make it your one text box and if you don't have some uh, number so you can type number here like this right now i'm going to this one go to the block and we will receive your the i'm going to remove this line and what i'm going to do i'm going to make this phone number as text box two dot text right this one like this one and delete this right so whenever someone type the number here it means in the first go back right so you have to type a number so just type any number here and here message right and then just click on send but if you have any doubt you can ask my comment and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye